welcome back to Neon Fastique. On this week's episode, new from Star Ace Toys, The Kraken, as designed and puppeteered by the legend which is Ray Harryhausen for the 1981 movie, The Clash of the Titans. But before we start, it's important to mention that this particular piece is the biggest so far from Star Ace Creations, with the vinyl statue measuring in at 13 inches tall, with an overall length coming in at 21 inches, hence why the box is on my thinking couch and not on my display table. A magnificent piece indeed, both in presentation, design and sculpt. So let's now take a closer look at this mythological horror from the dark depths. Okay, so here we are unboxed, and as you can see, the figure and display are nicely separated within the polystyrene packaging. There are two parts to the polystyrene which acts as a protective clamshell for the entire piece and very much limits any potential damage. Now unlike Talos, from my previous Star Race episode, I opted for the deluxe version of the Kraken rather than the standard edition. And the only difference between the two is deluxe complete with display base stand and standard with the latter omitted. As you can see, the box contains the main figure in two parts plus base and display piece and obviously the all important instructions. Now as this statue is of a thick resin plastic it is advised to warm up the connecting section of the Kraken's tail to better aid the coupling of the two parts which we'll do in a moment. But for now let's take a better look at those individual pieces first. So the first piece is obviously the base. Now as you can see it's very well sculpted and has a slight rocky incline on one side and depicts a very much disturbed watery surface. On the underside it is clearly marked which version this is, so that's really nice isn't it? And as you can see in this relief this is where the base of the Kraken will rest. Now I have noticed that the Kraken has a tendency to move forward so with relation to the standard and deluxe version I do think at this particular time that this base is very much needed but uh, I'm going to hold judgment until we've attached the tail and see if that lends anything to the stability of the piece once it's finally completed anyway moving on the next piece the display piece to go with your base obviously is Princess Andromeda and as you remember she's being offered as a sacrifice to the Kraken now it's really well sculpted a lot of detail now the only minor flaw i have with this is i'm pretty sure andromeda had blonde hair but that's just a minor minor fault but overall the level of detail the quality is fantastic now we'll just take a closer look at that very tail and this is the heavy thick set plastic i was referring to earlier so we're going to warm this up with a hairdryer and clip it into the main body of the Kraken. But overall, I think you can get a good idea of the level of detail that's included in this piece. Isn't it fantastic? The colours, everything. It's absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to get my hairdryer out and we're going to see if we can get this clipped in. Yes, it worked. Now, one important detail, whilst warming up the rear end of the tail, you also need to warm up the receiving end of the tail. So both male and female connections need to be warmed up with a hairdryer. Not for very long, just for a couple of minutes, because obviously it acts like a, a proper ball joint, so you need that to click in. Now, one issue that I raised before was stability. Now, without the addition of the tail, the Kraken had a tendency to fall forward. So now the tail's on, Stability is certainly improved, but it's still... Mm. So, we'll take a look at the base that I showed you earlier. Now, obviously, if you remember, it has a recess for the Kraken, so we'll just add that in. Slide under there like that. No problems with stability, which begs the question, doesn't it? Which one do you purchase? Do you buy the deluxe or do you buy the standard? Now... I pre-ordered this last year, it arrived last, last week, and I'm still paying for it. But, I'm glad that I purchased the deluxe version, because in my opinion, and it is only my opinion, you need the base. 
especially if you're putting this piece out on display, you don't want it falling over, falling forward, or if there's a slight tremor from the road or anything like that, then this could end up on the floor. And as it's an expensive piece, you do really don't want that to happen. So yes, my opinion, you need the base. But anyway, let's take a better look at the Kraken in its entirety. And there you have it, the latest release from Star Race Toys celebrating the 100th anniversary of the legend that is Ray Harryhausen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully found it of interest, at least maybe help you make more of an informed purchase. But as always, thank you for your time. A big thank you to all our subscribers for their ongoing support. It is very much appreciated. But take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I got a live one here. <laughs>